What is up you guys, of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Skyrender, and today we're going up against a guy named Loot Lugia. He's a Norwegian player, was a part of my stream previous week, so with that in mind, make sure to check out my stream that comes on this Saturday. I'm gonna keep you guys posted on both Twitter and on my YouTube channel when that is gonna go down exactly by time. A little unsure, to be honest, um, <laughs> waiting for some moments here to kind of... Cliff in so he's gonna kinda help me out so I know exactly when it's gonna go down. Anyway guys, this battle was against like I said Luke Lugia and he won an OU battle and um I think he knew you know how I played and really wanna showcase his mono team with an OU premise, yes. But uh, that was real about it. I am actually bringing, I think, at least one OU with Mega Metagross, and I think there is where it all ends. I think the rest is uh Hippowdon is UU and then we got Hillisk in um uh, are you and then the rest is actually never used which makes this team really really good this is actually a team that i've been using for quite some time and most of you guys know it as team Fulf. it's basically a team based on um, stoutland gigalith and uh, hippowdon working together sweeping the floor with a lot of things and they can tank a lot of damage they work really really great gigalith is easily one of the funniest choices i made with assault vest it is extremely hard hitting uh, looking at his team, I did expect, you know, he's starting off, obviously, with the Galvantula or the Vivillon. Uh, but besides that, you know, just generally, I decided to, um, depending on how this battle turns, I will actually try to avoid setting up Stealth Rocks, because I know that that could speed up things. And uh, I really just wanted to showcase my team and see if I actually can take him on. And uh, so I have no flame moves, you know, I have nothing really going for me, so now I just need to be the smarter player to win this battle. So, with that in mind, let's go. Uh, and also, I'm gonna start off with the uh, heal list, try to <laughs> forget about that. Uh, so anyway, no matter how it gonna turn out, I really just wanna dent him, and I know heal list can kind of speed everything, or I so I hope at least. So he's gonna start off with the Vivillon, you know, I felt really safe here. Uh, just gonna go for the Volt Switch, bring it down to the Sash. Because these things always have Sash. Always. So I was fairly sure that he was gonna go for a Sleep Powder or set up. And if he decides to set up, then you know, I'm really fine with that. So I'm gonna bring, like I said, Tropius. He goes for Sleep Powder, extremely lucky for me. So now I expect him to go for Hurricane. So I decided to bring in my Powdon because with Hurricane and his Compound Eyes, he actually had only 60% of hitting. So I was really feeling safe there, you know, that was definitely my safest play, plus the Sansa will take out the Vivillon. He do hit the Hurricane though, so that is, you know, I'll deal with that, like, I still felt that that was my best play. Vivillon is kind of, it's kind of mean, you know, early game, it can really, really, you know, dent teams if you're very unlucky. So here across is coming in here, I did expect him to be Scarfed, uh, or the Mega Evolution. I was feeling Tropius might be the best choice if he doesn't have the Rock move is that's the case. You go for the close combat and with that damage I know that this is a Scarf set because I tanked that like a beast. Like a beast that this Tropius is. Sadly though, uh, I'm gonna go for Nature ooh, nature Gift. The berry is a move with Lumber which make the move um, a flying move with, uh, I guess that is 60 base or something like that, or no, 80 base which means which stab is 120 a vastly superior choice um, in conjunction with the move that called Fly. But Scissor being the monster he is, he's gonna tank this. And uh, yeah, basically, as of now, this thing can kind of fire himself or set himself up. So I am very forced to switch out again. And uh, I'm gonna decide to go to my Saladin, hoping for him to go for a Bullet Punch or Sword Stance. He does decide to go for a Sword Stance, and Bullet Punch is the only thing that's gonna outspeed. So I know Volt Switch will do some decent damage before I, you know, get out of here. And I really need my Powdown a little, a, more, a few more turns because I really want to set up the Sandstorm yet again. This Bullet Punch takes me out. Um, yeah. That kinda sucked. Uh, I did not expect that, to be honest. So I'm gonna bring my Zunder. Uh, Zunder is, um, I'm gonna go with uh, Pursuit, but obviously... It's not going to be utilized of this battle because there is no reason for pursuit against this one. He's definitely going to stand up to one sword stance. Obviously, bullet punch not doing that much. 
Um, and I can actually tank that out. I'm actually a utility set, which means that I have EQ just to actually deal with things that are in the higher tier to be able to hit everything hard. I have two moves that actually is working with the tough claw, but there's where it all ends. The rest is just, like I said, utility and come in, hit hard. Uh, and I am very fast, so no defensive investment whatsoever. And 110 base speed, yeah, you're going to outspeed a lot of things and kill him without a doubt in my mind. So anyway, Beatrice coming in here, and this is where I kind of have to live with the issue of me obviously not having bullet punch and decided to go for an Iron Head, because he will make a vault, and uh, yeah, he has to protect. And I mean, that is the safest move to have on the Beatrice. You really want yourself to get that speed and all before actually doing anything else and do uh, yeah the sense was gonna subside so I decided to bring back my Bugra actually I'm going for foddering it that was the purpose of it at least uh, so I was gonna foddering like I said he fought on here getting more or eight turns of sand he's gonna go for U-turn a very very good play or rather the correct play and do uh, yeah he get a crit and it fails to take me out I mean this thing just it won't die I, I love you, Powdown, but man, sometimes you just know, you just have to know when you're gonna go down. I want my safe switch. So, anyway, Hero Cross is here. Like I said, there, there's no reason to switch out, to be honest. He goes for the Mega Horn, the safer bet, which means I really can't bring in Tropius. So I'm glad I kind of fought on it, but at the same time, I know that I now need to bring the Stoutland and hoping that my choice Bandit Reserve will help out enough to actually take him out. So yeah, so this is the fold I was talking about you guys, and this is the beast of the beast. Jeez, there is no going around it. it it's, it's made for killing, and with uh, double the speed, there is no way in hell it's gonna have nothing on his team gonna not have speed to be, not even the Mega Beat is gonna have speed with this. So I did expect him to actually attack me here, but he did decide to go for stick web, trying, I guess, to force me to switch out, or if I was forced to switch out, that his speed will outspeed the rest of his team, but um, no, I have no intention of going out of here because I am fast as F. <laughs> and it did tell me later on there that he was very unsure on how a Stoutland worked, but after this I was kind of sure that this would probably send rush. And it, yeah, it kind of is. It kind of is. So yeah, Fulf is definitely ripping through this team like butter. There is no way in hell that anything is gonna take <laughs> this thing on. And uh, this is basically a uh, sweep with the Stoutland. So I really just wanted to showcase this how much power that these guys really pack if they get the right momentum. And this was obviously one of those. So uh, yeah, I'm really glad I pulled this off. And also, Luke Ludia, thank you for this battle. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this battle, and uh, to be honest here, the Heracross probably could rip through my team if I hadn't had a Sandstorm up, but, you know, having 8 more turns of sand and being that Stoutland is able to outspeed everything on his team, is it's kind of hard to stall that out late game, and obviously, Bug Pokemon is not that bulky, his only bulky poke was the Scissor, and that going down to my Mega Pokemon really, really forced him to play out of his comfort zone, to be honest. And, like I said, I was really glad I didn't set up rocks or had any fire Pokemon, because this made that battle, Eldritch battle, so much more intense. Uh, had I had a Pokemon that could have dealt with a bug Pokemon properly, it probably would have been, you know, as exciting and probably be even more fast-paced. And, you know, I want to thank Luke Lugia anyway. Um, I really, really... Um, I hate those, to pull those kind of sweeps. It's not often you get the chance to do that, but, man, it's brutal every time. <laughs> It really is. And also, to the what are the 200 new people that are following me on now, um, what's up? Uh, I'm gonna look for battles tomorrow on my stream, and uh, due to my Nuzlocke, I'm not able to upload anything new or have any more battles. So um, I'm gonna try to get around to that once my Nuzlocke is over. But until then, there's gonna be stream uploads, and I'm going to narrate them as best of my abilities. And... Uh, this was actually my, I think, my third or fifth, fourth best I had, so um, kind of tells you how hard sweeping I were at that stream. And obviously, I had two great losses that I actually will showcase too because they were just brutal. Uh, but anyway, guys, you know, thank you as always for watching, and don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And remember, the sky is the limit. So have a good day, guys, and take care. All right, bye.